Welcome back. We are here looking at the tech stocks, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, October 15, 2020. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscriber button down here in the corner. We will be really thankful as we have also passed 1,000 subscribers, and that is actually a big milestone. Um, and if you like these videos, you're welcome to uh, make a like button, press the like button and hit the bell button in order to be notified when we see our newest videos or we really release them. So we'll start by looking at Google and Google has still found resistant at 1590. And at this point, I do believe that we will turn around. Uh, MACD is uh, still far away from the signal line. The, the RSI is significantly overbought and that is not a good sign. It's leveling off now, and the stochastic is also leveling off, and that means that we are going to see lower levels. Most likely tomorrow we'll break towards the 50 moving average. A break further, we will go all the way towards the 200 moving average. Uh, we can see also the Bollinger Band. We are way past the Bollinger Band. We are way overbought at this point. No reason to buy it at this point. Just wait until it gets lower levels. This is a market that will go higher with in time. This is Google. All of these tech stocks will go higher. But the idea is to buy these stocks when you get the best value for them. And that is not at this point. It is when it basically pulls back. Facebook is down uh, more than half a percent. It's the same thing here as uh, with most of these tech stocks. That is that they rallied significantly from the 100 moving average uh, around, they rallied around 13, 14%, nearly that. And at the moment, they are nearly all overbought and they are going to towards the 50 moving average, probably the 100 moving average. And the same thing here, the point is to buy this at good value. And at the moment, you if you buy it, it will decrease and you have to wait for a few days, probably weeks, in order to get back to these levels. So right entry point is here if you if it bounces from the 50 moving average or the two exponential moving averages or at the 100 moving average. Technical indicators are RSI is overbought. It is heading towards the lower momentum. Uh, MACD is not across the signal line yet. And the same is for the stochastic. So, uh, we, if we don't cross it today, we'll cross it tomorrow and then we'll go to lower levels. Uh, look at Apple. Apple rallied significantly on Monday and, uh, and fell significantly yesterday. We tried to rally today and then broke down. And this is an indication that we are basically exhausted in the stock and we are most likely going back towards the 50 moving average. And that is around uh, 116 level. Uh, we're not overbought, we were, but now we are at uh, 68. MACD is about to turn around, the stochastic is about to turn around, and the uh, Bollinger Band was way over the, Bollinger, uh, the top of the Bollinger Band. So at this point, we most likely go back towards the, the, the moving average of the Bollinger Band, which is at, yeah, I would bet 114, 116 before we go higher. A breakthrough this area here will open the door to these lows at 104. And that, it, well, would be quite surprising. If you look at Microsoft, Microsoft, the same thing. We are way over, we were a way over bot. We're still over bot. Uh, MACD is about to turn around. Stochastic is about to turn around. And so is the Bollinger Band indication is about to turn around. We have this really bearish candlestick here is an indication that we are going to go lower and that would make sense we had a fantastic run with microsoft from the bottom to the top here of nearly 15 percent in only uh, three weeks so that was really good value to buy microsoft here sell it there it will go towards the 50 moving average maybe to the 100 moving average and then you can basically buy it again this is not a market that you sell. This is a market there you buy because they will increase with time. Netflix, we went all the way to the top. As expected, we did manage to make a double top here. And at this moment, we are basically uh, going back down. 
we are significantly overbought at uh, with the Netflix stocks. We had a fantastic rally from the bottom to the top here of nearly 25%. Fantastic. So um, at this point, we are going to, to lower levels. If it goes to the 50 moving average, we may bounce. 100 moving average, definitely it will bounce. The 50 moving average has acted as um, in... In minor breakdowns, it has ha acted as support. In significant breakdowns, the 100 moving average has acted as support. So keep that in mind. It is possible to buy this at the 50. It is certainly possible to buy it at the 100. Technical indicators, MACD has not shown weakness yet. It will when the stochastic will turn around, and it is looking like it will turn around at any given point. Probably not today, but tomorrow we will see a red candlestick here and we'll head towards the 150 moving average. Apple, now Amazon has started to break down, uh, similar to most of the other stocks. Uh, we're still overbought. MACD, you can see, is about to turn around and will go to lower levels. Um, good uh, buying opportunity here is at 50, and there's a better buying opportunity at the 100. So that is at 3,017. And here is around 3,200. Um, you can just, it is just screaming that this is going to lower levels. We got way ahead of ourselves. From the lows to the highs here, we basically rose 22% thereabout. So there's no reason that this will go higher at this point. We need to pull back before we go higher. And of course, due to the fact that most of these stocks are such a big part of the S&P 500, and also the Nasdaq, then that means that we'll most likely see the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 also go to lower levels. So hope you find these, uh, video, this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel. We'll be fantastically happy if you did by hitting the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest videos. Thank you very much.